like to teach you how to play My Savior, My God by Aaron Schust. Now this song is in D, but uh, to pull off that cool little lick and to play this song, we're going to need to capo on the seventh fret and play in G. Okay, so the song starts off, like I said, we're in the key of G. Now I have a chord chart for this. It's uh, on the website. You can get it uh, right below this song, right below this video on uh, YouTube. In the more info section, you'll find a link to the chord chart. Now the chord chart just has the basic chords. I don't have a tab for this little, uh, the lick, the intro lick. Um, I'm just gonna teach you how to play it. And honestly, I, uh, I don't really tab stuff out. I just watched a video of Aaron Schust playing this song and I just watched what his fingers were doing and copied it and it, uh, it sounds right. So like I said, we're starting on a G, but they, he kind of does this to get to the G, okay? So if you play a G shape with four fingers, now you're on uh, three, two, three, two, open, open, three, three, with your three and four fingers, okay? Um, take your pinky off and put it on the fourth fret of the G string. So it's right here. Now take your index finger off and put it on the second fret of the same string, the G string. So you should have, uh, keep your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. Should be open, open. And then you should have your pinky and index finger on the next string, on the G string. On pinky on the fourth fret, index finger on the second fret, and then uh, your third finger, your ring finger, on the third fret of this next string, the B string, and then the high E string is open. Okay, that's kind of a weird uh, shape, but it allows you to pull this off. So what we're doing is, um, this G string is where this, this melody can lick is. Okay, so you, uh, you strum, you do down strums, you hit uh, four, 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 two, two, open. That's on the G string, okay? And if you uh, wanna play it like he does, do a hammer or a pull off with your pinky so you, you can kinda, okay? When you come off, just pull it. That's gonna take a little practice to do that if you're not used to doing hammer-ons, pull-offs. Um, just practice it. You need some finger strength, especially to do it with a pinky. It's easy to do it with your index finger. You can, you can do that all day. Okay, but your pinky, it's a little bit harder. Okay, so we're in that shape. Into a G. And then come back to that shape. To an E minor. Now this one's easier. If you come up, it's not on the chord chart, but if you come up into a C shape with these two fingers, so you're on uh, three, it's like you're open, but you don't want to play that string. Three, two. That's how it sounds. So it's three, 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 two, two, open. That's on the A string. Three, 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 two, two, open. Put your pinky back up on the fourth fret on the G string and do the lick back into the G. Okay, that's that's pretty much how it goes. That's definitely the hardest part of this song. You don't have to play that, but uh, if you if you want to sound like uh, Aaron Schuss does, you'll need to you'll need to practice that and uh, get to play that. So I'm just going to play through it. Um, you can watch watch my fingers and see where I'm going here. Um, if you are on YouTube, now this is a, should be in HD, um, so you can hit on the full screen, or uh, and it should be a pretty clear picture, and it'll blow it up so you can see, you can get a better picture of what my fingers are doing, okay? So I'm just going to play through that intro progression. sloppy but uh, you get the idea 
Okay, so you play that and then you're into the verse. I am not skilled to understand this G. What in God has willed, what God has planned. D minor. And I only know what is right hand. D. If you, now, when you're playing that E minor, I only know at his right hand, you can play that. Uh, play that uh, that kind of walk down into the D. So you're on the E minor. Got his plan. I only know at his right hand stands one who is my savior. That's your G. And I take him at his word and D. G. Christ died to save me this I read. Okay, when you come to the end of that pre-chorus, so I'm going to play uh, to the end of the line and I'll show you how to strum to uh, go right into the verse, or in, in, right into the chorus, excuse me. You count it strange, so once did I. Before I knew my Savior. Okay, that's it. My Savior to My Savior loves. Okay? So you go right into the, the chorus that way. Now the chorus is my savior loves E minor, lives C, he's always G there for me. That's pretty much it. E minor, C, G, D. Okay? So I'm just gonna play through it. Uh, you watch my fingers and you can play along if you'd like. Like I said, pretty simple chords. You count it strange so once did I. My Savior loves, my Savior lives, my Savior is always there for me. My God, He was, my God, He is, my God, He is always gonna be. My Savior loves, my Savior lives, my Savior is always there for me. My God, He was, my God, He is, my God, He is always gonna be. Okay, when you get to that B, it's just like, uh, going into that intro progression. You're on a D, just bring your pinky up on the fourth fret of the G string. And play that progression. So I'm going to sing the last part of the chorus and I'm going to go into that progression to show you how it flows. All right. God, he was my God, he is my God, is always going to be. There it is. Now you're back in soon. The ending of the song, it just goes, my Savior loves, my Savior lives, my Savior loves, my Savior lives. You repeat that and you just go between C and E minor. My Savior loves, my Savior lives, my Savior loves, my Savior lives, my Savior loves. Okay? On the C. So there it is. Um, you can listen to uh, a recording of Aaron Schuess doing it. Those are all the parts, and uh, you can hear how it all gets put together to pull this song off. All right? Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.